Hey everybody, welcome back to Tailwater Outfitters series of videos. How the heck do you do that? Now in these videos, a lot of them are, are pretty elementary. In other words, they're kind of for beginners. Some are gonna be more complex as we do these things, but literally it's just stuff, how the heck do we do that? Some of them I'm gonna teach you, other ones I have no idea. So I'm gonna find somebody who knows how to do it, and then we're gonna do it, got it? But today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a knocker rig. Very simple rig used, um, I know George Poveromo talks about using them, you know, when you're, when you're straight up and down over like a, uh, a reef or a rack or something like that. Um, and, and it's used with a shorter piece of leader. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie on a swivel. These happen to be 130 pound swivels. You can use whatever size you want. These are the Spro swivels and, and uh, I'm just gonna use a, I don't even know what the name of this stupid knot is, but you come through twice, come through your line twice like this. Um, make a loop. You can also use like a Palomar knot. You can use whatever you want. And you're gonna make a, a uni. This is 30 pound test, so I'm gonna go about four or five times through. Four, five, pull it down. Moisten your, your line so it doesn't chafe. Pull it good and tight, okay. So that's the first part. Now this is gonna be your leader material here, okay? And this is gonna to tie to your main line. The swivel here is gonna to tie to your main line going off that way. So we're gonna, now, Again, this is something you don't want a big long leader for the knocker rig, so five, ten feet at the most. So let's say here about one, two, three, four, and we'll call that five. Close enough, right? Here's five feet. Now this is a simple, simple rig to do. Step one, a weight. This is four ounces. You know, you're going to pick your weight depending upon your current. Usually you don't use these when there's a ton of current out there. And then you're just gonna tie on a hook. Now, I do know some people that'll put a bead on because they think the, you know, the bead can protect the, the weight from bouncing against the knot. It's kind of up to you. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and tie the, the hook right onto the line. And I'm gonna use a very, probably use the same knot. Yeah, let's do a Palomar knot. Go through like this, come back like this. Palomar is a really strong knot. And then uh, pull that through. Okay, I'm gonna come around here, let that hang for a second, and we're just gonna make an overhand knot just like this. You can use whatever knot you feel like using. I'm gonna use the, the Palomar, pull this back through. If you wanna know how to tie a Palomar, go to our knot videos, Knot of the Week, and you can learn how to tie a whole bunch of different kinds of knots. All right, get this thing down nice and snug. Wet it down, nice and snug. Cinch it down with your fingers sometimes. If you don't like pulling on things with your teeth, fishing's not for you. Okay, I'm gonna cut off my tag end. Right here. Don't cut my leader, just like that. And now, I've got a knocker rig, that's it. Why is it called a knocker rig? because the, the weight knocks against your hook. And that's why I say some people like to put a bead down there. It's up to you, you know. I'm kind of a less is more kind of a guy. But it's gonna knock against your weight. Now, with a shorter leader, if something comes out of the rocks and picks it up, right, it's, it, they don't have as much to go with because it's gonna come up here and it's gonna hit the, the swivel. And some guys put a bead on each end of this. They'll put a bead up here so that when it does pull and this goes down and hits the swivel, it's not the weight banging against the against the knot. Totally up to you. Um, do it or, not, or don't do it. Again, it's your call. But that's a knocker rig. Uh, guys use them for bottom fishing, grouper, snapper. I don't know if it's used much in freshwater because down here we don't really have anything that's that deep. But they might use it up north. I don't know. But if you know, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. If you like to use beads, tell us. If you don't like to use beads, tell us. If you like to use one bead, Tell us that too. It's up to you completely. This is America. It's free, at least for now. Bye.